Are you looking for the best immersion blenders? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best immersion blenders on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Cuisinart Smart Stick Variable Speed Hand Blender. The Cuisinart Smart Stick, favored by two of the pros I spoke with, has a variable speed dial that takes the handheld machine from low to high. That's actually one of the features Christensen likes about it. The controls are really, really easy, she says of the stick, which she has owned for about five years. Clearly, it's built to last. Chef and author Virginia Willis can certainly attest to that too, she had an older model Cuisinart Immersion Blender for 15 years and only recently replaced it with this one. I find it to be such a great tool, she says. Especially when it comes to making soups, it's so much safer and easier than pouring the liquid into a blender. Plus if you're making something like refried beans, it's easy to control going partway blended instead of fully. Number 2. Mueller Ultrastick 9-Speed Hand Blender. The Mueller Ultrastick was a favorite of strategist readers from a previous version of this article and we can understand why. It has 4.5 stars and close to 40,000 ratings on Amazon, with glowing reviews about the quality you get for the price. Many people noted the strong stainless steel body and the force of the blade, it has a turbo speed setting for when you really need to kick it up. At 500 watts, this immersion blender is more powerful than most, says one. The steel feels substantial, and the attachments are very easy to change. Speaking of those attachments, the Mueller is the only one on this list that comes with a milk frother, a bonus if you like to make lattes at home. Number 3. KitchenAid 5-Speed Hand Blender. Though it has fewer speeds than the Breville, this KitchenAid model has always been flexible enough for recipe developer and cookbook author Jesse Sheehan. It's a tool you might not think you really need, but it's actually super helpful, she says. I have a salad dressing phobia, I always want other people to make it for me. But this really helps. I can make mayo or a fruit compote, or I can whip egg whites for baking with the whisk attachment. We have a Vita mix we use when we're making smoothies en masse, but it's nice to be able to make smaller portions too. One of the attachment bell blades that come with the 5-speed is, in fact, meant to be especially efficient at crushing ice. It's easy to use, and the cord has never been a problem because it's quite long, Sheehan says. Plus it's not crazy expensive. Number 4. GE Immersion Blender. The GE Immersion Blender comes recommended by Richard Ray, executive chef at The Butcher's Daughter, who uses one at home and in his professional kitchen. In the latter, he says he probably uses it even more than the commercial model they also have on hand, pulling it out for creamy soups, cashew ricotta, hummus, and all types of salsa. It's very strong, he says of the powerful motor and super sharp blades. It breaks through nuts even some big, bulky blenders don't do that. And it's super lightweight and doesn't make much noise, a little hum, but that's it. Ray has had the blender in his restaurant for two years, with daily use, and it's still performing beautifully. Number 5. KitchenAid Corded Variable Speed Hand Blender. I'm a fairly recent immersion blender fan, but so far, this KitchenAid model has performed great. Like Tertian, I've used it for bigger batch salad dressings, it emulsifies a large amount quickly, and soup. In the latter case, I'm especially appreciative of the pan guard, which fits snugly around the appliance's sharp metal cage but still allows the blades to wear freely. When I've accidentally touched the bottom of my beloved Dutch oven, it doesn't leave a scrape. Another bonus, I own the black, but it comes in nine colors, if aesthetics are important to you. Number 6. KitchenAid Cordless Variable Speed Hand Blender. In addition to her Breville, Whitney has this cordless immersion blender. Although it also comes with a pan guard, its standout feature is that it's battery operated. It's helpful to not have a cord when I'm blending soup in particular, she says. You just charge it up like you would anything. And the charge lasts for a really long time, 25 uses, according to the website. I definitely don't charge it very often. Instead of a dial, this one has a variable speed button, which Whitney says is very straightforward.